Uh, so Star Trek lovers unite Trekkies and Trekkers, and I count myself firmly among amongst it all, amongst it all. So this is no surprise. We all know as Star Trek fans that William Shatner, uh, in various ways, in various uh, incarnations, evolutions throughout. The 58, I, I cannot believe, 58 years that Star Trek has been on the air, broadcast, on, on movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, what have you. But, you know, we, we all know that it wasn't a bed of roses, far from it, with, uh, I guess, George Takei, of course, being the most vocal. Over the years, Nichelle Nichols, uh, who played Uhura, um, Walter Koenig, Chekhov, and even Jimmy Doohan. Of course, Scotty, they've all sort of, you know, contributed. But what's really interesting about this article, this is over at SlashFilm.com, is, is you know, all, all the bad blood, all the, all the you know, uh, idiosyncrasies and uh, outright uh, feuding between, you know, between Shatner and, and, and cast and, and crew. But a lot of people, and I'd forgotten this too, is that uh, Leonard Nimoy... Uh, obviously, you know, we all know Mr. Spock. Leonard Nimoy sort of contributed to this, um, you know, sandpaper conflict clashing from the article. When Leonard Nimoy's Mr. Spock proved to be a hit among viewers, leading to a notable TV Guide photo spread, a rivalry began among the two leads, Shatner and Nimoy. Each one assumed they were the singular star of Star Trek, and each one tried to hog as much of the spotlight as they could. The pair's rivalry led to outrage from show creator Gene Roddenberry, who infamously penned an angry letter to them, demanding that the two prima donnas reign in their cattiness. Quote, You've pretty well divided up the market on selfishness and egocentricity, Roddenberry wrote. So, really interesting. I know, you know, one of the things they go on to say as well is that during the filming of the classic series, Nimoy and Shatner, because of this, never really spoke. They did their scenes, you know, they never really, you know, hung out. Subsequently, years later during the conventions, and of course then the feature films, that's when their friendship, that's when Leonard Nimoy and William Shatner really became good friends. So it was meeting up at cons, and I've gone to a, a few conventions. When you're with someone, you know, in this case, say Nimoy Shatner, and you're sharing a table, like, you know, they do this autograph for the uh, for the gold ticket people like if you know you want your photos um, you know autographed or or pose with them they're doing that for hours i think it's god i think it's at least 3 or 4 hours so so i remember clearly i was lucky enough to go to one with william shatner and leonard nimoy and there they sat well they were on stage first of course which is great they did their little kind of you know talk up and show and they their their little act in a way awesome and then later i got them to sign my dvds some photos whatever and it was great but i mean the the time involved because we were gold ticket you know, um, people, we got it right away. We didn't have to, I guess, wait in line like others, but I've heard it's hours sometimes. So if you either get to know that person really well, I guess you really, right, you either really get to, um, you know, become friends or friendly, or you always have this sort of guarded standoffish. And for Nimoy and Shatner, they did become friends. So it's a great article, why William Shatner's Star Trek co-stars allegedly couldn't stand him. Take a look, take a read. Hope you're enjoying, hope you're subscribing. See you soon.